Mississippi is blessed, a state with a natural beauty like no other place on earth. It's a place where nature smiles and we smile back. Mississippi is equally blessed with natural resources that fuel our state's economy, creating jobs and opportunity. Economic and environmental interests often seem to conflict. Every day, we prove that a balance can exist. We're the Mississippi Department of Environmental Quality, or MDEQ. Our goal is to conserve and improve Mississippi's environment while fostering wise economic growth, ensuring that Mississippi remains a land of beauty and opportunity for generations to come. The roots of the MDEQ go back to the founding of the Mississippi Geological Survey in 1850. For the next 100 years, Mississippi established various departments dedicated to the state's levees, wildlife, and water supply. But environmental concern had yet to enter the public consciousness. In 1948, an incident in Donora, Pennsylvania captured the nation's attention and changed everything. Pollution from manufacturing operations became trapped by weather conditions in the river valley in and around Donora. In just three days, 20 people died from asphyxiation. This catastrophe helped usher in the modern environmental era, a movement strengthened by growing environmental awareness that began in the 1960s and continues today. In 1966, the Mississippi Legislature passed the Air and Water Pollution Control Act, creating the Mississippi Air and Water Pollution Control Commission. In 1989, the name was officially changed to the Mississippi Department of Environmental Quality, MDEQ. Today's MDEQ is a diverse, multifaceted organization employing more than 400 people. Scientists, engineers, geologists, and other highly trained professionals who are passionate about Mississippi, its environment, and its future. Through focused research and responsible regulation, MDEQ strives to be a wise steward of the state's air, land, and water resources. MDEQ is widely recognized as one of the nation's leaders in its field, developing innovative solutions that have been adopted throughout the country. There's no better example of MDEQ's leadership than its response to Hurricane Katrina. Even before landfall, MDEQ personnel were deployed on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Within 48 hours, a ready room and emergency response team were in place. Our database helped target sites where dangerous waste could exist, allowing close monitoring to prevent further disaster. We work with MEMA to prepare maps of affected areas for rescue and recovery efforts. We provided engineering expertise to bring wastewater treatment facilities back into action and issued an emergency timber general permit to prevent fallen timber from going to waste. Because our people refused to get bogged down in what couldn't be done, MDEQ helped clear 50 million cubic yards of debris from all 82 Mississippi counties in just one year, while restoring vital services throughout the state. We continue to manage a $650 million federal grant to redesign and rebuild infrastructure on the coast. Emergency response is an important part of what we do, but you can see the results of our work in your everyday life like when you encounter a rare species in the wild. MDEQ collaborates with the Department of Wildlife, Fisheries and Parks to protect wildlife, especially endangered species. Or when you hear a flock of geese overhead, MDEQ works with state and federal agencies to preserve Mississippi's wetlands. When you read about an industrial development in the state, rest assured that MDEQ helped get them up and running in accordance with environmental regulations. And when you drive your car, remember, it was a state geologist's discovery that led to Mississippi's first oil production back in 1939. MDEQ is many things, an innovator, an educator, a steward of economic growth, a member of the community, 
an agency that isn't afraid to roll up its sleeves when a job needs to be done. After all, we believe present and future generations of Mississippians want and deserve a clean, healthy environment. And we do everything in our power to make it possible.